Che uh, Arcadia, you make a very good point. You say we always see these two cheetah brothers, and we don't seem to see any others. We don't seem to see any females. And you say, well, are there no females around? I've seen one female here, and she will come in and out of this area. They're not strictly territorial. But yes, you're right. The habitat is not ideal, and therefore the number of cheetah will be much lower than it could be in some other areas. Uh, but there will be females that pop through here from time to time. There's a herd of wildebeest also grazing peacefully in Mala Mala, enjoying the warmth of the morning now. The sun has come out. It's a delicious morning, I must say. Now, Mala Mala, in case you don't know, is one of the original ecotourism, private ecotourism operations of the Sabi Sands, and together with Londolozi, and I think probably Lion Sands to the south. They really did pioneer ecotourism in this area, this private ecotourism that has sustained the Sabi Sand and created an, almost an entire industry out here, provides countless jobs, has protected any number of hectares of land and provided a safe haven for animals like those two cheetah that you're looking at now. And Justin, you're interested in domesticating cheetahs, or not possibly physically domesticating them, but you don't want to know if they can be domesticated. Justin, they can be. Um, apparently, I don't think it's easy, but they can be domesticated, and they have been, certainly. And I know that there, throughout history there have been various sort of um, domineering fellows of history like Genghis Khan, for example. Apparently he had a stable of cheetah that he used to use as hunting dogs. So yes, they most certainly can be domesticated. They don't breed well in captivity though, apparently. They're very shy about breeding in captivity and so they're not necessarily the best candidates for conservation in captivity. All right, everybody, that's the cheetah. I don't think we're going to sit with them any longer. We're going to make our way back towards Juma slowly, and maybe we'll be very lucky on the way there. Maybe in Kanyeni we'll...